We will learn about the quality of goods in international trade together. When engaging in international sales of goods, the main conditions of the transaction are directly related to the subject matter of the contract and the basic contractual obligations of the buyer and seller. Among these conditions, the quality of the goods is one of the crucial aspects. The quality of goods is generally constrained by two aspects, namely the product name and its actual quality. First, let's understand the concept of the product name. The product name refers to the name of the commodity, which, to some extent, reflects the natural attributes, purposes, and key performance characteristics of the product. Therefore, it enables a particular product to be distinguished from others. Secondly, let's delve into the concept of quality. Quality is one of the primary terms in international sales contracts. Product quality is the main reason for disputes between buyers and sellers. Improving and enhancing the quality of goods is a crucial means of non-price competition for businesses. The quality of goods has become a tool for countries to engage in trade protectionism, typically employed as technical trade barriers. Therefore, the quality of goods should encompass both the inherent qualities and external characteristics that satisfy consumers' specific needs. Inherent qualities meet the requirements for the utility and performance of the product, such as chemical composition, physical and mechanical properties, biological characteristics, etc. External characteristics, which include the appearance and external structure of the goods, such as shape, structure, color, taste, etc., are methods used in international trade to represent the quality of goods. These methods can be broadly categorized into two types. Representation through textual distributions and representation through samples. Textual distributions can be made using specifications, grades, standards, brands, or trademarks, designation of origin, manuals, and illustrations. Representation through samples can involve selling based on the seller's sample or buy-in based on the buyer's sample. Texts indicating quality should be concise and practical. For certain goods, specific quality clauses can be stipulated, and it is advisable to adopt a single method to represent the quality of the goods to avoid assuming dual guarantor responsibilities for the quality of the delivered goods. Consideration should be given to the possibilities of production, processing, and supply, respecting the trade rights of the other party, understanding the customs and habits of the importing country, and adapting to the relevant laws and regulations of the importing country. First, Let's understand several methods of representation through textual description for indicating quality. 1. Specification representation The specifications of the goods reflect several key indicators of product quality, such as composition, content, purity, capacity, performance, size, length, thickness, etc. 2. Grade representation. The grade of the goods refers to the classification made with words, numbers, or symbols, based on differences in texture, size, shape, weight, composition, structure, performance, etc. within the same category of goods. 3. Standard representation. Standard representation refers to the standardized indication of product specifications. 
four, brand and trademarks representation. The brand name of a trademark refers to the trade name produced or sold by a manufacturer or seller, also known as the brand. The trademark is a graphical representation of the brand and serves as the specific symbol or a particular product. Trademarks and brand names are protected by trademark law. 5. Designation of origin or geographical indication, such as the following Chinese geographical indication products, such as a geographical indication product from ASEAN countries. Having learned the ways to represent quality in words, next we will learn methods to represent quality with samples. In international trade of goods, transactions can be made based on seller samples or based on buyer's samples. Types of samples include the following. When transacting based on samples, attention should be paid to the preservation of samples. Issues associated with transactions based on buyer samples and the degree to which samples represent the quality. In international trade, the recognition of quality allows for quality latitude and quality tolerance. Quality latitude is to prevent provisions of quality terms from being overly strict and causing difficulties for the seller in delivering the goods. Contracts may specify a certain range within which specific quality indicators can vary. Quality tolerance is internationally recognized as the allowable difference in product quality by international peers. Now, let's move on to in-class practice. In international trade, Products with special design requirements were distinctive features in terms of appearance, color, fragrance, and taste are suitable for transactions based on which of the following. Transactions can be based on samples. Products with special design requirements were distinctive features in terms of appearance, color, fragrance, and taste can only be confirmed through samples, specifications, grades, and geographical indications cannot express or compare the confirmation. Next, let's delve into exploration and improvement together. Now, in this case, can the buyer reject the batch of canned goods? Feel free to leave your comments for discussion after class. Thank you for listening.